this is Jamie Magridge. Welcome to Jamie's Craft Table. Today I'm going to show you how I made this card. My supplies just toppled over. Okay, I'm going to be using the Gentle Wave stamps. It's a background stamp, large one. I'll be using that. I'm bringing in Sailing Home just for these birds. I could use the Let's Set Sail, which comes with the um, Sailboat Builder Punch. I'm just going to be using the punch today. Um, this does have birds, but they're smaller. I wanted the larger ones, so I chose to use this one. So I'm not using the stamp set at all. And then I'm bringing in Paradise Palm just for the sun. I'm using Mango Melody, Bermuda Bay Ink. I have a piece of In Good Taste uh, Designer Series paper. A two and three quarter by four and a quarter inch piece of Bermuda Bay. I have a four by five and a quarter inch piece of uh, white that will stamp with the background stamp and then cut in half it to two and a quarter or two and a half by four inches. I have a piece of white which is four and one eighth by five and three eighths. A piece of thick, which is five and a half by eight and a half, and then some designer series paper for the whatever one you want to choose for the sales. And I had another one. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and try to use this one. I had a piece of this one here, but now I can't find it because I was having trouble finding more of this, so I brought this one in. So let's get started. Let's, first thing I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and bring in my punch and I'm going to bring in this piece of cardstock and bring it in and I'm going to punch it. I need the two sail pieces. And then I'm going to bring in this In Good Taste one and I need just the boat part of it. This piece here. You can save the sails for another card. All right. This one I don't need. This one I don't need. Okay. Now, we're going to take the uh, four by five and a quarter inch piece. These two. What did I do with the boat? Oh, I'm batting a thousand with this. Oh, here it is. With this one. All right. I'm going to bring in the gentle waves. I'm not even going to take it out of the case. I'm going to use the case to stamp it in. I'm going to ink it up with Bermuda Bay ink. and inked. It doesn't have any spots that I miss. You can see it. Okay, then I'm going to take my paper and set it on there. I want a lot more of this part than this bottom part, but I'm just going to set it on. Hopefully I didn't move it too much when I set it down. I'm going to bring in a piece of scratch paper, set it on there, and I'm going to rub it. That's going to do two things. It's going to give you firm, even pressure all the way around, and it's going to clean off the stamp without getting your fingers all inky. Okay. Did pretty good there. Now I'm going to bring in this just so I can lift it up. I'm actually going to do this. So it's not a sharp piece, it's just a. Get under there, pick that up. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to set this aside. Ok, 
Okay, I'm going to close up my Bermuda Bay ink. I'm going to bring in a trimmer. And I'm going to trim this to two and a half inches. So two and one half inches. So this will give you two cards. Okay. Either one works. Put one aside. We'll be using this one. Okay. Now, oh, I also need the Memento Black ink. Second video in a row. I've forgotten that I needed it. I'm going to take that sun. I'm going to ink it up. I'm going to stamp it up here towards the top. And I'm going to take my blending brush. And I'm just going to, underneath that, I'm just going to lightly do a little bit of the yellow. Not a lot, just a little. Now there is a stamp in here. It's meant to be the under shadow under the boat, but I bet it would work for that as well. Let's give it a try and see. I hadn't tried it, but I, I saw it and I said that would probably work well. Either way. I don't know. Well, let's try it and see what that could happen. As we don't like it, and I use the other piece instead. And it adds a little bit of a ripple effect. Okay. Now we're going to uh, close this up. We're going to bring in our snips. And I need the black ink for the birds. So let's do that next. birds up there at the top. Perfect. Okay. Now we're going to take, you see how there's waves here at the bottom? We're going to pick where we want to put our boat, which wave we want to put it at. We want it way down here probably. Okay, so I'm going to take my snips and at that wave, I'm going to cut it into two pieces. I'm just going to cut along that wave. Just above where the white line is. So I'm going to follow that curve. Okay, this piece I'm going to put dimensionals on the back of. I'm going to keep the dimensionals towards the outside edges or down towards the bottom. Okay. I'm going to bring in this piece of Bermuda Bay, which is two and three quarters by four and a quarter. Those birds are still wet, so I need to be a little bit careful here. Bring in my Tombo Mono Glue, and this piece is going to get glued flat. it towards the top. Should have about an eighth of an inch border because it's a quarter inch large. The Bermuda Bay is a quarter inch larger. Okay. This piece here is going to get lined up exactly where it was. Except popped up. I got it a little bit crooked. Let's see if I can fix it without tearing. Try that again. That's better. Okay. 
We're going to come in with this piece of boat, this wood grain one from the In Good Taste Designer Series paper. This one's from the Pattern Party. I'm going to put some adhesive on the back of that, just a little bit. I'm going to tuck this in where we want it here, behind this piece a little bit. And our sails. This one, I think I'm going to pop them up. I'm going to try popping them on this one. So I'm going to need a small one too, I guess. For the top. Get the packs off. The sail goes here. The sail goes here. Okay. Now we're going to bring in our card bases. This is going to get mounted onto our 4 and 1 8 by 5 and 3 8 inch layer. And I'm going to put it more down towards this end, so it's going to be like a half an inch from this edge and a half an inch from the bottom. Now you, you could probably add texture or something to this layer, but I really thought it didn't need it. I like the quietness of this with the busyness of this. I like those bigger stripes. It's pretty. And then this is going to get put on the front of the card. Oops. The thing just fell off a minute. There's just the tiniest border with this one because it's an eighth of an inch smaller than the front. So there you go. It's a really simple card, but I think it's effective. Thank you for joining me today at Jamie's Craft Table. I hope you have a great rest of your day. And I hope you can find a little bit of time to play with some stamps, ink, and paper. This one's more subtle. I like the bolder stripes. Have a great day, everybody.